Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video about something I never thought I'd ever be doing a review on, and that is some underwear. And just not any underwear that you might see at Walmart or something, specifically EMF blocking underwear. So if you know what EMF is, EMF is basically standing for electronic magnetic field. So this pair of underwear supposedly um, blocks out um, that harmful radiation. Let's get into it and open this up and see what it's all about the brand of this emf blocking underwear is called lambs so here they are <laughs> oh man what am i doing as the little tag there it says lambs yeah so this is it i would show you guys what it looks like on but uh, you know, we're here on YouTube and we are a family friendly channel. So uh, I'll, I'll go try it on right now. All right, so I actually have it on right now and it's actually pretty comfortable. Um, it's kind of tight. Uh, I, I'd expect it to be a little more loose or maybe that's just the underwear that I'm used to. But it feels, feels pretty nice. It feels like any other underwear out there. Yeah, so far, pretty good. So according to their websites, their products block out 99% cell phone and Wi-Fi radiation. They also have zero bacteria survival with 100% hypoallergenic. Our Silver Flex blend feels softer than cotton. And it's very breathable uh, to keep you cool all day long. And they achieve this by making their products out of a blend of 44% cotton, 17% polyester, and get this... 39% silver fibers. So it does all those different things for all the different products that they have. But what I'm going to be focusing on in this video is the 99% cell phone and Wi-Fi radiation that it blocks because that's a huge selling point. So to test this, I bought a EMF meter detector thingy and no cheap one at that. So I wanted to test it out to see if it was working. So I ran it through a outlet, our Wi-Fi router, our microwave, a light bulb from one of our lights, our breaker box and ultimately my phone there's this great video on youtube by dr eric berg he gives uh, a quick rundown of what emfs are for and i really highly recommend that you guys watch it because it gives a really good breakdown um he breaks down some harmful side effects and whatnot but a quick rundown of some of the things that it can affect on us as humans is our sleep and energy and the more likeliness to develop uh, tumors and just like how he explains in the video some people are more sensitive to these waves than other people so let's get on and test it. So just a quick disclaimer before we get started, I am not a scientist and I'm just a random guy on YouTube that's just doing this test for fun and you should take it um, with every grain of salt that you have. I don't know if that's how the saying goes. Let's first start with seeing what the reading is streaming a YouTube video without being in the boxers. So the reason why I went in this route is because sometimes I listen to podcasts or YouTube videos while doing stuff around the house and I keep my phone in my pocket just in case I want to rewind or go forward to a different part. So I took the reader and I went all around the phone to find a reading to see if we could pick up anything and it seems to be the strongest on the lower back of the phone where the antenna approximately is as you can see as I move back and forth um, closer and farther away from the phone. And according to this website this is where the antenna is so I'm not that far off. When I bring my phone very close to the reader, it reads about 10 plus and kind of fluctuates. Um, but when I physically touch the reader to the phone, it just goes way too high to read. Now let's put the phone in the boxers to see what the reading is now. So now that it's in the boxers, the number from very close to touching the phone have dropped significantly. It was ranging around the 10 plus and even beyond that. But now it's ranging anywhere from one to six to seven. So it pretty much cut in half from what I'm seeing. I even run the reader around the phone to see if it catches any new readings and see if it dropped overall around the phone. I do this several times. I take out my phone, I measure the radiation without the boxers, and then throw it back inside the boxers and then do another reading again. I repeated this about five or six times. I, I completely lost count. I even turned it inside out and the results were generally the same. So after about 20 or 30 minutes of me putting my phone in and out of my boxers like a madman, from my tests, it seems like the boxers do actually block out some of that harmful radiation, but not enough to fully block out the signal from reaching my phone so I couldn't stream the video. The conclusions I came to from doing the 
the tests in this video is without the boxers, the radiation is kind of concentrated into one spot where the antenna is. And as you get closer and closer to the phone, the higher and higher the reading gets. And it ranged from 10 to 19 on the reader and even went way past that where it just couldn't read it because it was so high. And that happened when the reader was actually touching the phone. Now with the boxers, I noticed that it kind of dispersed the radiation. I don't even know if that's possible, but it basically disperses it. So places of the phone where I wasn't picking up any radiation or very little, I started to see radiation in those spots. So it was mostly concentrated where the antenna of the phone is, but when it was inside the boxers, I could detect it on the other parts of the phone. But the readings were significantly lower um, when it was inside the boxers. So this is not a conclusive test that you should use as a scientific study. This is just a random guy on YouTube testing out some things with his underwear and phone and camera on a rainy afternoon. And I'm pretty sure there are better ways to test this. That is way out of my depth and my expertise and field. <laughs> but overall, I hope this test was helpful. All in all, the lambs, Faraday, Boxer Briefs does a great job reducing the radiation that comes from your phone. I don't know how accurate the claim of being able to block out 99% of the radiation is due to my lack of knowledge in the subject, but I may run more tests in the future. So that begs the question, should you get a pair of the Faraday Boxer Briefs or any of the other products from Labs? And that's totally up to you. It would be great if you could test it out yourself and maybe buy a pair or any of their other products they have on their website and test it out similar to how I tested it or maybe test it your own way, how you think it should be tested and make the decision yourself whether they're a good buy or not because $40 for a fancy pair of underwear is a bit pricey. At the end of the day, whether or not you believe that these Wi-Fi radiations, 4G, 5G, have a negative effect on your health is up to you. But I will lead more on the side of caution. If all these things don't create problems, then great, you know, our lives are more easier due to all this cool technology. But if it comes to the cost of our health, I'd rather not take that risk. And yeah, I'll still continue to use these boxers because in my opinion, some protection from these harmful um, radiation is better than nothing. Although in our modern day, it's pretty unfeasible for a normal person to go completely off the grid if they wanted to um, avoid all these harmful radiations and live out in the country or something. The products that LAMS creates gives me a better peace of mind knowing that I'm getting significantly less radiation, not totally 100% gone, but less radiation in a very sensitive area than actually having none at all. Hope this video gave you guys an idea of what to expect um, with the Lambs Faraday um, boxer briefs and generally a lot of their product line that they have right now. Um, they also have beanies, um, t-shirts, so definitely check them out. I'll have them linked down below. I don't think I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but I'm not affiliated with um, the company Lambs in any way and I paid for the EMF meter and this pair of uh, boxer briefs uh, all with my own money. If you guys have any qu comments or questions or you want to know where I got all my sources, um, they'll all be in the description down below. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, this is a very different video from what I usually do, but I just thought it would be really fun to test these out because you know, basically I, I saw this product on a Instagram ad and I just thought it was really cool. Um, so yeah, um, I just thought it would be really fun. Um, I like doing videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for anything else that you might want to see, uh, definitely leave it down in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next one.